Hi Leo, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. So for this person's energy, they're represented here by Uranus, Pluto, Comforted, King of Cups, Nine of Wands. So this can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, um, Scorpio here twice, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo. Doesn't have to be, but that is the energy they are bringing towards you. Um, I'm getting, I'm not sure if you two are on talking terms right now, but there's, this person is emotionally withdrawn or distance and they have strong, their guard up pretty high here with that nine of wands. They're, they're protecting their heart and I'm seeing there, there's a lot of childhood wounds that they need to recover from um so when they feel like they don't have control over something uh, they withdraw their energy and they feel things are a bit unpredictable um this is their overall energy so this can be just in general in their life or it could be in regards to you or a combination of both but with uranus yes things are a bit erratic so they've they're almost hiding under their blanket here with the teddy bear. Um, so they're not feeling strong enough um, to put up a fight yet. But they are with Pluto transformation. They, they could be highly possessive, um, jealous, that type of energy because that is strong Scorpio here. But um, also with their emotions, I'm getting a, bit, a, a lot of ups and downs. But let's move over to your physical compatibility. So we have Capricorn, the boss, frustrated, Queen of Swords, Three of Wands. Um, I don't think there is a physical connection between you both right now because uh, Queen of Swords is very detached energy uh, compared with the Three of Wands that talks about distance. Um, so there's a blockage here in terms of you both physically um, expressing yourselves to each other. I'm not sure why. I under I see this person's blockages clearly. Um, this could possibly be a third party. We did have Seven of Swords, the Hierophant, but that can also mean, um, well, I'll get to that after. But this person intellectually, we have Ashamed, Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles, again, someone who's quite stingy um with how they express themselves and how much they give um i'm getting a bit of a control freak though i don't have any of uh, the emperor or any of that sort of thing but i'm sensing that and could be quite stingy with their money as well I'm not getting that strongly but there it's almost as if this person has self-worth issues for sure um, that is a strong message, but it's almost as if they accumulate more possessions and they keep them very close to their heart um, to feel a sense of security. So possessions give them security. Um, there's something, though, um, that they're unwilling to let go of. If this is a third party and they're married, they're unwilling to let go of that structure they've already built for themselves. But regardless, a, a bit of a closed off and um, stingy energy coming from them they don't want to share um, whether that's their thoughts their emotions their uh, there's some sort of avoidance here um, is what i'm seeing for your intellectual bond we have mars venus the hermit seven of swords hierophant um, so it could be that one person is in this for passion whereas the other person is looking for a more of a emotional connection um but if this person is married there's i see distance here with that hermit and a lot of sneakiness still present here um this person isn't quite honest um with how they're truly what their thoughts are in regards to this connection because this is yet the intellectual bond between you both but if this person isn't married, I see someone who's unwilling, perhaps afraid of commitment. 
um, but avoiding some sort of responsibility here. I see two people on two different pages with Mars and Venus here as well. Um, perhaps Venus wants more stability here with Harvard and the consistency where Mars is more erratic and um, avoiding things and all over the place. And when Mars doesn't get what he or she wants, they withdraw um, their energy. That's a possibility. For your emotional bond, we have Saturn, Wisdom, Virgo, Trusting, Loving, Ten of Wands, Five of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Yes, so if you've cut this person out with that Queen of Swords, um, or you, you're you unwilling to have a phys just a physical bond with this person, um, they're still waiting for a new beginning with you. Um, they haven't given up and they're quite... Um, between both of you, very emotional. Um, we have loving, so you're quite affectionate. Um, I see you being quite compatible emotionally, actually. Um, there's a lot of reliance on one another, but there's either mind games going on here or a bit, the emotions are a bit overwhelming. So one person is feeling that whatever it is that they are feeling it's too much it's a bit of a burden so they're it's almost as if they're putting up a front and they don't want to let the other know how much they mean to them because a Virgo and Saturn in my opinion is very dry on placements for the emotional compatibility but if we look at your mixed emotions we have beautiful energy so there's a bit of a contradiction there Saturn, I don't know if I'm a fan of Saturn in, for feelings. It put, puts a bit of a damper on things. It's very structured. Um, it's cold energy. And Saturn ruling the 10th house, uh, which is Capricorn. So Moon and Capricorn is actually very uncomfortable position for the Moon because Moon likes to flow um, freely, whereas Saturn restricts. So there's... there's um, difficulty expressing one's emotion to the other here and one person is uh, very practical um, if they're married um, that is the reason or other reasons they could be um, unwilling to tell the other how much they're feeling but there is a lot of love here for sure um who this person is emotionally they're struggling internally is what i'm trying to say there with disappointed disillusioned defeated let down um yeah so they are feeling defeated emotionally um there's a lot of internal struggles going on here though they're appearing to i'm almost getting a bit of a smug um exterior they're presenting but deep down there there's a lot of disappointment and chaos with that Uranus energy. They don't have their emotions under control. Mm -hmm. This person likes to be in control and they feel lack of control right now and that's causing a bit of a chaos in their internal world. Your current compatibility, we have safe, bored, strength in reverse, ace of cups in reverse, the star, on 12th house surrender. I don't think there's much movement here um, with surrender. There's a lot of shadow work uh, that needs to be done, especially with this person. Um, I'm seeing someone, there's lack of patience here. Um, Ace of Cups in reverse is, I'm not getting unrequited love here. Although, it could be that one person has given up on the connection um, and they're letting things be and you're both trying to heal uh, separately because there is distance here. But yes, again, with strength, when strength is upright, that talks about control, strength in reverse is lack of control. So yeah, with 12th house surrender, I see 
the current compatibility as you're both surrendering um, and waiting. Well, one or both of you is uh, trying to go with the flow, is what I'm trying to say. Um, for your long-term potential, we have proud, resentful, free, six of swords, temperance, the high priestess, four of swords, Leo, the tenth house. I don't see, if I'm completely honest with you, I don't see long-term potential. Um, I see someone moving on eventually. Um, this person is a very egotistical and it's almost as if they're unwilling to be vulnerable with you and eventually I think you will heal you'll listen to your intuition and break free from this connection you will liberate yourself um, we have resentful here so I think this person does have a lot of uh, control issues as I said throughout this reading and they will they won't make it easy for you to break free whether that's energetically not letting go of you or actually um, physically trying to chase you again but where i see you succeeding here with is in your career your reputation with leo the lover 10th house reputation that talks about someone being very successful in your reputation with your reputation in the world but your career and your social standing will improve um, financially things will be more stable for you leo um, for your advice we have mature woman here so possibly fair-haired who is naturally intuitive high priestess loves to travel and believes in herself and what she does she is an entrepreneur great mentor and a free spirit see I see this representing you um, I did draw another advice card but regardless of the gender is not at play here but like I see if there's something you want to do in your career with entrepreneur here great mentor I see you um, succeeding and if if you're in an existing job I see promotions here but it's telling you to follow your intuition and that is leading you in the right direction and then we have blocked so walk away not maintained in winter season something is blocking you from moving forward if you are honest with yourself about what it is you will have the power to change it there are always options leo the lover yes there's no lack of admirers here um you will have a lot to pick from they're very attractive this is that queen of wands energy so she's always mm -hmm. quite popular and has no lack of admirers and it's telling you to keep your options open for your advice leo um this person is they will be back i'm looking for some sort of closure from you because i think they will be in this energy when you try to break free from them because they whatever they invest in emotionally it's hard for this person to let go of that with the four of pentacles so yes they will have difficulty moving on but it's i'm not seeing i mean this is a general reading but if this is resonating the cards are telling you that you, things aren't looking too great for the outcome here but energies are always shifting so do keep that in mind but that is all i have for you leo hopefully this was helpful take care of yourself and i will see you later bye